Is there a trade that keeps the Cavs the best team in the East? Obviously understanding that Boston had the number one seed in the right. Cavs last year. Yeah, if you don't trade them to Boston. If you don't trade them to a team that's actually competing, there 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 aren't going to be there aren't going to be teams willing that that are at the top of the East that are willing to give you what you need to continue being the team to beat. If you go to Boston, you aren't going to get those huge pieces. You aren't going to get Isaiah Thomas. You aren't going to get Jalen Brown. You aren't going to get Gordon Hayward. And when you can't do that, you can't give somebody like that. Kyrie Irving. You need to send him to a place to where he's buried deep and you never have to see him again. You send him to the Knicks. You try to send him to the Knicks because the Knicks said they would be willing to give you everything but Chris Stapps Porzingis. Is that, is, do they have pieces that you want? Maybe, maybe not. Do you think Carmelo Anthony fits there? Is he a piece that you can add to get some of that scoring back if you lose Kyrie Irving? But there isn't a trade within the division other than the Boston Celtics, that even gives another team a chance to compete with the Cleveland Cavaliers to win the East. Whoa, 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 whoa. So did you say, did you say there is no trade even the Boston Celtics, right? You said... I said other than. So the, if, there, if there was a trade with the Boston Celtics, that would keep Cleveland in the top position? No, what I'm saying is if you trade with the Boston Celtics and yes. you don't do it the right way, you don't get the right pieces, and in getting the right pieces from the Boston Celtics, you have to deplete them as much as, as much as possible while trying to help your team. But other than that trade, this team stays the team to beat for one reason. They have LeBron James. There's no analysis the that needs to be done. Way, the only way that the Cleveland Cavaliers remain the team to beat in the East is if they can trade Kyrie to Boston. That's the only way. I disagree. Oh, I got you 100%. on skates this time. Because oh, you might have got not, me with the Cowboys. You might have had me skating a little pieces, bit. On, 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 listen, listen, listen. Now now my turn. Okay, you got, you got me. I like you. you can, I, I'm going to admit, you had me skating around the pond a little bit on if the Cowboys and Wildcat or Jerry takes a little too many gambles. But right now but you now you're in, Oh, I feel good. Let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Huckleberry. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The Cleveland Cavaliers, I said this in the top of the show, and I don't understand why this is controversial. The Cleveland Cavaliers with Kyrie Irving and LeBron James as the top of that franchise are done as title contenders. And the truth of the matter is, they were done as title contenders before the playoffs even started in 2017. You just didn't want to admit it. You still don't want to admit it, even though they won only one game against the Warriors. They're done as title contenders. And now, into that equation, here's what you've injected. You've injected dysfunction, two personalities not getting along, which in basketball is a little bit bigger deal than in football, where you got to have chemistry and two guys of 12 in a locker room playing, 15 on an extended roster, who have to get along that can poison the entire locker room. This is a big deal. So in that, in that situation, where they were already peaked out, not competing with the Warriors, you've injected dysfunction, number one, and instability, number two, because of LeBron's potential departure at the end of the year. How does that make them better? It doesn't. Now moving on to the trade. I believe what Adrian Wojnarowski said. There is no player with higher trade value than Kyrie with two, well, conceivable player who's on the trading block than Kyrie because he's got two years left on his deal. He has some proven tra track record. He has some, some sparkle and shine to him based upon what he did in the finals two years ago. Kyrie can bring back a haul. But there's no haul that Kyrie brings back to keep them ahead of the Boston Celtics. You can't sell me on Eric Bledsoe. A, 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 if the Knicks, the Suns, and the Cavs plus some three-team trade and, and the Cavs end up with Eric Bledsoe, a number one pick, and I don't know, some, some wing coming from somewhere, it's not going to be better than what they have right now. I mean, Eric Bledsoe is a better two-way player than Kyrie, but he's not near the offensive player that Kyrie is. So they're just not going to be better and put together chemistry in this short amount of time to make them better this year. The only trade that could keep the Cavs as the team to beat in the East is if they did a trade which Boston would be insane to do, which is trade Isaiah Thomas, maybe Jalen Brown, and a first-round pick. Because I take Isaiah over Kyrie anyway. I've had that debate with Max Kellerman on this show going back months. That's absolutely months. ridiculous. I, I take Isaiah. I got you beat on every stat there is. Imaginable points, PER, uh, clutch. I got you right, beat on but everything. he's the guy, right? And by the way, Kyrie in, doesn't in play Boston, defense either. Neither, and Isaiah I know. Thomas that's the trump card with Isaiah, everybody. <laughs> that's, that's everybody's trump card with Isaiah. Well, guess what? You don't get to use it in a Kyrie debate because right, Kyrie we, doesn't play defense either. Right, but, we, is, but we, saw, we, we saw in the playoffs that things change. And though Isaiah did have very good games, in the playoffs. They weren't consistent. He wasn't a guy that was coming out every day and dominating the way he did during he was the regular hurt. season. He was hurt. 
And he what had he, some personal tragedy, tragedy no, going no, on. That, that's, that's abs that absolutely plays a part. Isaiah I'm not Thomas is that clutch. And, I know you're not. Isaiah Thomas is clutch ability and in his willingness to step up, in his grit, in his ability to lead a team, I think is beyond question. I will take Isaiah over Kyrie every day. So you're saying, so you're saying you would week. take that straight up trade? If, if I'm, no, I would, that's my whole point. Like the you only, can't do the, that trade. The only trade that makes Cleveland go, yes, I'll do this, we compete this year and we compete into the future, is if Boston's willing to send Isaiah, the rumored trade, Isaiah plus Jalen or Jay Crowder plus a, 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 a first round pick to get build for the future as well. But I'm telling you, if I'm Boston, I laugh at that trade. That's how Cleveland wins. That's how Cleveland stays on top. Unload Kyrie to Boston, get back this hall, we'll still compete and we're up for the future. But Boston should Will, laugh that trade away. Here's so the, the end result is Cleveland has no trade available that keeps them the team to be in the, in here's the East. The, here's the, the misconception you have about basketball, though. And just, the about, and just about life in general. Oh, look, look, go bigger. You, it. About life in general, you think that once we say it, yeah. it's now a thing. No, I don't. Right? You, you're acting like instability and dysfunction only started existing for the Cleveland Cavaliers now that we're talking about it. No, I don't. It. Fine, this it was, existed before when they won one game right. against the Warriors. Here's the other How thing. Also, too, though, the Boston Celtics, though they have gotten better, I would like to, I would argue that the Boston Celtics were farther off in a seven game series from the Cleveland Cavaliers than the Cleveland Cavaliers were from the Golden State Warriors. You might want to argue that, but things have changed. Isaiah's gotten no, healthy. I, they drafted I, Jason Tatum. And oh, by the they way, got, they, they signed Gordon Hayward. This listen, is not the same team. Right. I'm tell, I agree. It's not the same team. And they have closed that gap. But even instability and dysfunction, if Kyrie stays on this team, the Cleveland Cavaliers are still better than them. 